Reba McIntyre admits her marriage was all business after no longer being married for over a decade. The voice star Reba McIntyre comes clean about a big secret concerning her marriage. Lasting longer than both the separation and marriage to Narvel Blackstock was a secret she kept for over 30 years. The queen of country music admitted her marriage was business. How it got started, Reba McIntyre first met Narvel Blackston when he was a member of her band. As time went on, McIntyre made the choice to make him her manager. This promotion led to other things. Reba McIntyre married Blackstock in 1989. Her son, Shelby Blackston, was born in February of 1990. Despite being married and having a son together, McIntyre admitted on the Drew Barrymore show today their marriage was business. Business and business all the time for Reba McIntyre. I think it works for some people. They can be married or have a relationship and work together. Our work was all the time, McIntyre revealed to Drew Barrymore and the audience. Our marriage was 26 years. We started out working together in the band. He was part of the band and then became my manager, later on then my husband, but it was a situation that was always business, whether we were getting ready in the morning, pillow talk, whatever, but it was business. She went on to say the marriage was business even when the couple were on vacation together. About three days into a vacation, it was like, you know what we can do? Reba McIntyre stated. Reba McIntyre and Narvel Blackstock's divorce, the star of The Voice, and Blackstock's called it quits in 2015. This couple had been married for 26 years. Reba McIntyre admitted their marriage to be a situation that was always business. Having a marriage that was always about business may have been one of the reasons the couple divorced. Narvel Blackstock walked away from the marriage with a $47.5 million settlement. Despite the large settlement in Blackstock's favor, the couple still say the divorce was amicable. Her relationships with her stepchildren also appear to have remained friendly. Reba McIntyre maintains relationships with Narvel Blackstone's three children, including the ex-husband of the first-ever winner of American Idol, Kelly Clarkson. Reba McIntyre and Rex Lynn's relationship the fancy singer is currently in a relationship with Rex Lynn. They have known each other for years, according to Judge on The Voice. We had talked and communicated throughout the years, had a mutual friend, and we stayed in contact, she revealed. At the time of publication, it was unknown just how serious the relationship is between McIntyre and Lynn. She did tell Drew Barrymore the night they finally got together she was drawn to him, and it was like a magnet. That does not sound like a relationship based on business. Tell us what you think. Did you ever think Reba McIntyre's marriage to Narvel Blackstock was about business? What do you think of her maintaining her relationships with her stepchildren? Were you aware of her relationship with Rex Lynn? Sound off in the comment section below. Reba McIntyre, the iconic country music superstar, has always been known for her larger-than-life voice, timeless hits, and infectious energy. However, behind the bright lights and the grand stages lies a story of love, heartache, and a surprising revelation about her personal life. In a recent candid interview, McIntyre admitted that her second marriage to Narvel Blackstock was, at its core, more of a business partnership than a romantic endeavor. This surprising admission has opened a window into the personal struggles and the unique pressures that come with being a world-famous entertainer. The Queen of Country, Reba's rise to stardom before delving into McIntyre's personal life, it's important to understand the magnitude of her career. Born in Oklahoma, Reba McIntyre started her journey as a rodeo-loving country girl with big dreams of Nashville. From humble beginnings, she quickly rose to stardom in the 1980s, becoming one of country music's most influential figures. With over 75 million records sold worldwide, a string of chart-topping hits, and countless awards under her belt, Reba's career has spanned decades and transcended music. She's also an accomplished actress, starring in her own hit television show, Reba, and making waves on Broadway. But with great success, often comes great sacrifice. Reba's rise to the top wasn't without its challenges, and as her star continued to rise, her personal life took a hit. A complicated love story in 1989, Reba McIntyre married Narvel Blackstock, her manager at the time. Blackstock had been a vital part of her professional life helping her navigate the complexities of the music industry and steering her career through the highs and lows of fame. Their professional partnership was successful, and it made sense that their personal lives would intertwine. For many fans, their marriage appeared to be one of the stronger unions in country music, especially given the high divorce rates in the industry. Narvel and Reba seemed like a power couple, 
working hand in hand on her tours, albums, and business ventures. They had a son together, Shelby Blackstock, and their blended family included Narvel's children from his previous marriage. But as the years went on, cracks in their relationship began to surface. Despite the public appearances and professional harmony, their personal connection wasn't as strong as it seemed. In 2015, after 26 years of marriage, the couple announced their separation, much to the shock of their fans. The divorce was finalized later that year, leaving Reba heartbroken and by her own admission, blindsided. It was all business, Reba's revelation in a recent interview, Reba McIntyre spoke more openly than ever before about the realities of her marriage to Narvel Blackstock. Reflecting on their time together, Reba made a striking admission. Their relationship had been more of a business arrangement than a marriage built on love and romance. I was so caught up in my career and the business side of things that I didn't really see it for what it was, she confessed. We worked well together and we built a great life on the professional front. But when it came down to the emotional side, there was a disconnect. This confession sheds light on the unique challenges that many celebrities face in balancing their personal and professional lives. For Reba, her career was all-consuming, and while Narvel was a supportive and vital part of that, it seems that their romantic connection was overshadowed by their shared business interests. Reba's statement is not a condemnation of Narvel or their marriage, but rather an acknowledgement of how easy it is to let professional obligations take precedence over personal ones, especially when the stakes are so high. When you're constantly on the road, in the studio, or focused on the next big thing, it's easy to lose sight of what's really important. We both did, and unfortunately, that led to the end of our marriage. The impact on Reba's personal growth following her divorce from Blackstock, Reba went through a period of intense personal reflection. She's spoken candidly about how difficult the separation was for her and how it forced her to reassess not only her marriage but her own identity outside of the spotlight. I had to take a hard look at myself and figure out who I was without all the trappings of fame and success. For so long, I had defined myself by my career and by the partnership I had with Narvel. Losing both of those things at the same time was devastating. Despite the heartache, Reba emerged from her divorce stronger and more determined than ever. She since focused on her personal well-being, spending more time with her family, and embracing new creative ventures. In 2020, she began dating actor Rex Lynn, and the two have shared a lighthearted and joyful relationship, with Reba often posting about their adventures together on social media. A lesson in resilience and priorities, Reba McIntyre's revelation about her marriage to Narvel Blackstock being more of a business arrangement is both surprising and deeply relatable. While few people can understand the pressures of being a global superstar, many can empathize with the challenges of balancing professional ambition with personal happiness. Reba's story serves as a reminder that even the most successful and seemingly perfect relationships require emotional investment and time. For Reba, her marriage was a chapter in her life that brought professional success, but ultimately left her yearning for a deeper emotional connection. Through it all, she has remained resilient, using her experiences to grow and redefine what happiness looks like for her.